I am on my way, and y'all can uh, y'all can show me exactly uh, where you have seen them, and we'll move some stuff. And... We got a small ass yard. Okay. And okay. One day, one day. What kind they are. All right. We're going on a snake removal call. It's a uh, golf course. Um, they said they found a snake or seen a snake in the pro shop last night. They just called me back and said that they killed one snake, but they have one small snake in the jar. They're not exactly sure what it is. Cutie pie. We've already caught two. She and she called me and said that y'all got caught two. 48. Oh, great. This one down right there, and they killed right. it. And then this is the other one we saw in the bathroom. That is a water snake. Is it poisonous? No. No. No, none of those are. I see what you're saying about the walls. You know, yeah. These little these little guys could be anywhere. Took a long look around, looked under everything, looked over everything, you know, searched everywhere we could, but uh, we didn't remove anything, didn't find anything, which most of the time is the case. Once the snake has been seen, if people turn their back, the snake takes off. You know, they don't want to be messed with. And the hiding spot that they were hiding in obviously wasn't a good hiding spot, so they go to a new hiding place. But the snakes that we're talking about, that kind, do they have live births? Yes. They are live birthers. This particular species, the water snake, is a live birther. Whether egg layer or live birth, most of the time, most species, the mamas don't hang around. A big portion of reptiles are egg layers, and reptile legs can be different to deal with. Once she's ready to pass her eggs, she'll spread those legs and get, get a grip with her back legs as well as her front legs. Thank you. You'll see when her tail slowly starts to open and then you'll see this white. What that is, is that's the egg. It's coming. And it's really cool watching it because you'll she'll slowly start to see it get bigger and bigger and bigger until she drops it. She develops her eggs inside of her. They, they mate, she holds the sperm, and then whenever she's ready to drop her eggs, which Pearl has dropped 10 eggs in two different clutches, so far, um, but as the eggs pass out, they're fertilized and said there's a sticky goop. Dropped. Um, that is the actual sperm layer on the outside of the egg. Um, it sticks to your hand really well, but what we do is we put it in the ground and that soaks through the shell to fertilize it as it incubates. Once we get them out, we're gonna put them in some form of container until we get them over to their nest. We have turtle and tortoise eggs every year, but this is the very first time one of our personal snakes has laid eggs. So right here on this particular corn snake, you can see right here this bulge, that's the egg that's fixing to come out. Right there is her tail, and right up underneath here would be the cloaca opening. Now right here is an egg, right here is another egg, you can see the bulge right there. And she'll have eggs all the way up to about in here somewhere. What she'll do is she keeps working up, keeps pushing, keeps pushing, and then uh, the tail will get bigger and bigger and bigger towards her cloaca opening, and then all of a sudden you'll see this white. and. Uh, and with the white, then slowly comes the egg. And there we have an egg. And there it is. So here you go, boo. Small mark. Can you see it? No, small mark right on the top. We mark the eggs because we want the egg to stay viable. Lay it down on that. Oh, we got right there. Bird eggs you can rotate, reptile eggs you cannot. Very good. Now get all this stuff up in here. There's a essential air pocket that forms at the top. It's their oxygen supply. And if it rolls over or if it flips over, then it'll drown. How's that? Does that work? Uh -huh. That meets your approval? It's good enough. Reptile eggs are all different shapes and sizes. These are sulcata tortoise eggs. And these are golf balls. So we're going to go from right to left, which would be ball python, sulcata tortoise, or also known as the African spurthite, and then corn snakes. Strangely enough, one of the smallest species of python on the planet, one of the largest species of tortoises on the planet. Let me do this without... Let's see if I can find a... Oh, see him move? Oh, there it was. Look at the moving. <laughs> Too cool, huh? <laughs> That's really cool. See, most of the time you can't do this with tortoise eggs because they have an inner inner layer, an inner membrane that grows over to where you can't candle them as easy. You can still see the little guy moving in there. <laughs> 
There were places absolutely everywhere in this golf course. Little, little nooks, little crannies, big holes, couches, chairs, lockers. There were places absolutely everywhere for a snake to hide here. Me and Bailey and looked through every one that was pointed out, every place that we could look, every place that we could find. Bailey is a great little extra set of eyes. Looking for a big snake. He can get down where I don't want to. Uh, he can stick his nose in places I don't want to, or his fingers around in little holes <laughs> just, for, just for the fun. They don't hurt anybody. Everybody's just scared of them. I'm going to say one two things happened. It, went, it made us go back out underneath that door. As far as this golf course goes, we didn't find the snake, but what I tell people is to keep their eye on the snake until we get there so that it makes our job easier to find it. Any uh, Anytime we can help. Hey, Doodle, does it bite? Well, stick your finger in there, boy, and find out. It's not biting now. It's not biting. <laughs> See, snakes ain't always out to get you.